Hello, it's your favorite sports dunk here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the fastest growing community on YouTube. Remember, nightcap doesn't happen without you. So please subscribe or you're going to make Ocho cry. Scotty Pippen, Horace Grant, Luke Longley go on a tour addressing the last dance. Pippen and Grant have been vocal about their portrayal in the ESPN docuseries. Horace Grant was quick to call Jordan a liar for claiming he leaked information to Sam Smith, the Jordan rules, while Scotty went on to say how upset he was at his portrayal and even released a memoir titled Unguarded, where he shares stories about dealing with Michael Jordan. The tour is set to begin February 23rd in Tasmania and will make be making stops in Melbourne and Sydney. Grant said, well, as you know, I speak my mind and it's going to be no BS tour. Believe me, I'll tell you this. The X factor in the first three and the second three, I would have kicked Dennis Robbins. You know what? <laughs> Come out, get the tickets. You'll hear a lot. Now, <laughs> when the last dance aired, Horace mm -hmm. Grant reached out to me. We home, we're both from Georgia. He's from middle Georgia. I'm from South Georgia. And he reached out to me because he wanted to clear some things up. And he said, there's some other stuff. And I said, well, I said, you know, I call us a hope. I don't, I don't really feel like sharing this because, but we was in the pandemic at that time, Gil. I said, Oh, I don't mm -hmm. feel comfortable sharing this, but once we get out the pandemic, if we, I would love to have you on to share this, what you're telling me, but I don't feel comfortable because people will say, well, Shadow, you hate it. You hate Jordan. And he probably didn't even say yeah. that. So they're going to need to hear that come out your mouth. And so I'm mm -hmm. interested to, to hear what's going to come out of his mouth. Is it going to be similar to what he shared with me? Cause that's what I'm interested in see. And so that's why I like, and I was like, I like, you know, but once, you know, last dance kind of went away, you know, we kind of moved on and like, okay, let's just let it go. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to listen to what they got to say, because look, in a lot of people's eyes, Michael Jordan can do no wrong. He's, he's God. Mm -hmm. And I tell people all the time, the first time I met him, I felt like I was meeting and I hate to be blasphemous or sacrilegious, but he seemed like he was elevating. He seemed like he had a, uh, a, uh, 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 a light, a shining light behind him, and he was sitting on clouds. And that glow. Uh, that's, I mean, and you hear a lot of people say the exact same thing when they meet Michael Jordan for the very first time. And they're NBA players, mm -hmm. great NBA players, and they feel like this. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously, he had <laughs> he had final say on whatever was going to be in the docuseries. series, uh, and so, but. I knew early on, but I found out, like I said, you didn't know. I thought he and Scotty were closer. And then come to find out, they're not close at all. Not close. I mean, that was like close. They they far apart like, like Sydney and San Francisco. They, that's how yeah. they far apart they are, Gil. Be honest, I don't want to hear none of this. You don't want to hear nothing? Uh, I don't want to hear none of it. The, the reason uh, is, and I'm going to speak for the new school. I'm going to speak for the Kevin Durant and all of them. I don't want to hear the shit about no champion complaining about being a champion. <laughs> you stole up on championships and do whatever it takes to win a championship. Six-time champ. Three-time champ. Three-time champ. Don't give two shits about what Michael Jordan did to help you motherfuckers become a champion. Because when people come at you, you do this right here. Whatever it took, stand no. on it. I don't want you to complain about how brutal he did. He told me this. He, you, you a champion, right? Nah, now. he got me betrayed. He, he got me betrayed like a B-I-T-C-H. He got people thinking, he got cool. people thinking I'm a garden tool. I can't have that. I can't have that, Gil. I can't have it. I got to clear my name. You a sick time guard too, goddamn it! I want my restitution. <laughs> I, listen, I, listen. The, the, that's the problem. It's a conflict. It it kind of makes it look bad. You done told us championships or not. You're laughing at Charles Barkley. You're laughing at Patrick Ewing, and then you tell us that you didn't like it. He was a bad guy. He was a bad boss. What? No. No, you don't like to y'all don't like being champions. Say it ain't so. 
When I said, hey, I'd rather take 300 million than seven rings, y'all over here like, you're crazy. I, no, hey, hey, they, hey, they're going around talking about no bull. They, their rings, they got, them, they got them rings and they don't seem too happy yeah. now. I mean, look, everybody wasn't going to be Michael Jordan. And even if you had a great career, uh, Magic doesn't have to take a back seat. Magic is a three-time MVP. He got five rings, uh, finals MVP three times. But everybody wasn't going to be mm-hmm. Jordan. There's only one Michael Jordan. I don't care who – how great. Somebody might score 100,000 points in their career. They are never going to be Michael Jordan because of that shoe. That shoe is mm-hmm. what said – yeah, he was great. And I don't – well, Shadow say the only re- – no. Understand what I'm saying. Prior to that, mm-hmm. people wasn't wearing sneakers with yep. tuxedos. People wasn't wearing sneakers with suits. People weren't wearing uh, uh, sneakers to formal events. He made it a, a style. It was a fashion. The sneaker became a fashion statement. His shoe became a fashion statement. And now you have everybody else and the shoe. You get the Louis Vuitton. You get the Gucci. You get the Prada. You get the G-Bone shit. You get all mm-hmm. of those. But that guy did that. You know what Michael Jordan is? Everybody understanding now, especially everybody on Nightcap and Club Shape Day. Michael Jordan is to basketball what Cat Williams did on your channel. Yes. Right? He did it in a style, clever, charisma, funny, gave you the drama. He gave you such a big overall package that the field... They can't keep up. They're not going to keep up because, one, him, who he is, how he moves is a whole different entity. So when you come here, you can give us the drama, but are you going to give us the charisma? Are you going to be clever? And that's who the Michael Jordan was to the world, how Cat is. So no matter who you got, everybody, we're going to be judging it off the same one man. And that's, and that's why I say sometimes there comes a force in this yeah, world like that hasn't been seen before that does something that just says, whoa, what is this? I remember when you said, I, I think this is going to go 2.5. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to go to the, oh, I think we're going to get about 2.5. And somebody said, yeah, yeah, you already got that right now. <laughs> I, 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 had, I, had, I had no idea. I don't think anybody thought. And I was, like, I was talking to somebody uh, at the All-Star. I say when when you saw Michael Jordan and you faced him in his rookie season, I think I was having a conversation with Dr. J. I said, did you know? Mm-hmm. He said, no, I thought he was good. I thought he was very good. I thought he was going to be a great player. But nobody thought he was going to be that. Mm-hmm. And you didn't. And as great as, as Cat was, and I was hoping for 10 to 15 million views, that's what oh, you people oh, don't. Man. And I tell people this. I say, do you understand there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of people sitting down having an interview, a conversation that's doing that number. Yeah, I had I, no. uh, uh, Steve Steve Harvey ended up going over 11 million views. I got a couple at six million views. I say, but do you understand what 10, 15 million views is? I say a, t- a, a, a sitcom that get 10, 15 million views will be on for 20 years if they got those numbers yeah. once a week. And so yes. you telling me that I, no, I didn't know. No, the only person that knew that he could generate this was Cat because he told me. And he said, your life's going to change. You're going to be at a new realm, mm-hmm. a new stratosphere, and people are going to want to want to come on your podcast because you offer a safe space for people to tell their truth. But he mm-hmm. said, they're going to come for you. And I was like, Cat, come on, Cat. I mean, I, 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 just, I just, you know, I guess, they, I guess it's like uh, uh, somebody wrote, I guess I'm harboring a fugitive. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, he came to my house, but I, you, 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 you held him up. You helped him, evade cap. So you know, they're looking at me because he and Monique said what they said on my platform. They hold me culpable. Mm-hmm. Now, mind you, I've done Johnny Manziel is my hundred and tenth. He's up right now. Johnny Manziel is the hundred and tenth mm-hmm. person, different person because I haven't had any repeats yet. The hundred and tenth person that I've sat down with. They judge me on two podcasts. Yep. <laughs> now, I had DC Young fly. 
I had said the entertainer. I had Ricky Smiley. I had Michael Blackson. I had Steve Harvey. I had Country Wayne. I had Desi Banks. But it's two. I've had Magic Johnson. I've had Floyd Mayweather. I had my brother. I had DeMar DeRozan. I had Lamar Odom. I had Steve Smith. It's two podcasts. Oh, I'm messy. So yeah. one less than 2% of the podcast that I've sat down with people, that's how you judge me. 